Today, we'll dive into the fascinating story of Ihan, a company that's turning air taxis into reality. Imagine this, you order a taxi, but instead of a car, an unmanned eVTOL arrives and takes you across the city in minutes. Sounds like science fiction? Well, Ihan is already making it happen. In this video, we'll explore how this company became a leader in the eVTOL industry, the technologies it uses, the challenges it faces, and what the future holds. Let's get started! Ihan Intelligent is a Chinese company founded in 2014 by Hu Huazhi, a graduate of the prestigious Tsinghua University. The goal of the company is to make flying accessible to everyone, not just the rich people. And they are getting close. In 2019, Ihan became the world's first publicly traded eVTOL company, listing on Nasdaq and raising $120 million. Today, the company employs over 800 people, with 40% being engineers and developers creating the technologies of tomorrow. In 2023, their EH-216S model received a type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, the world's first certified passenger-carrying eVTOL. In 2024, Ihan took another leap forward, becoming the only company to secure all three necessary documents for flight in China – the type certificate I mentioned before, airworthiness certificate and production certificate. But that's not all. In 2025, Ihan aims to obtain the world's first operational qualification certificate for unmanned passenger carrying eVTOLs allowing them to transport passengers commercially. In 2024, they delivered 200 units, capturing over 70% of the Chinese eVTOL market and more than 50% of the global market. For comparison, their closest competitor, Joby Aviation, planned to deliver just 10 units that year. Let's check out their attack. Ihan's flagship product is the EH-216 series, unmanned eVTOLs designed for urban flights. It has 8 axes and 16 propellers, capable of carrying two passengers up to 35 km in 50 minutes. It is the main model for air taxis and tourist flights. But there is also EH-216F, for putting out fires in tall buildings and the EH-216L for logistics, like delivering goods to places like islands or mountains. For longer journeys, Ihan is developing the VT series with composite wings. For example, the VT-30 is designed for intercity travel, while the VT-20 and VT-10 are for transporting goods or patrolling, such as pipeline inspections. They also have drones for smart cities, like the Falcon B, which monitors traffic and uses AI for intelligent recognition and management, quickly alerting to anomalies. Plus, their GD series shows create stunning light shows as eco-friendly alternatives to traditional fireworks, reducing environmental pollution. What makes their tech special? A fully redundant flight control system with dual backup motors and automatic obstacle avoidance ensures safety. The absence of a pilot cuts flight costs to $50, compared to $150 for competitors like Joby's S4. Ihan has filed over 400 patents, including algorithms for autonomous control. In November 2024, they conducted the world's first test of solid-state batteries on the EH-216S in collaboration with Inx Energy Technology. The flight lasted 48 minutes and 10 seconds, extending flight time by 60%, a real breakthrough in aviation batteries. How does Ihan make money? 
Currently, over 80% of their revenue comes from hardware sales, and in 2024, they achieved a gross margin of 61%. That's an impressive figure, indicating strong pricing power and financial resilience, as a high gross margin makes it easier to cover salaries, rent, taxes, and more. Their revenue reached about $40 million, a staggering 379% increase from the previous year. However, they reported a net loss of $25 million due to heavy investments in research and development and expansion, though they turned a profit in late 2024 for the first time. Looking ahead, Ihan is betting on operational services, air taxi rides, paper trip models, data services via their drone management platform, and maintenance. Their goal is to make Evital flights as affordable as regular taxis. To achieve this, Ihan is building a closed-loop, low-altitude economy ecosystem, partnering with battery suppliers like Xinjia Energy, automakers like Chan'an, and local governments such as in Guangdong province. In Shenzhen's Lohu district, vertiports are already under construction, and Ihan launched a pilot vertiport in Barcelona. Ihan is thriving in China and expanding globally to the US and Spain. Their big plan for 2025 is to launch commercial operations in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau area, which will become the epicenter of the low-altitude economy. Just Guangdong province aims to grow this economy to $40 billion by 2026, with Ihan as a key player. Think Chinese companies are all about propaganda? Then check out my video guide on Evitols, featuring companies from around the world. The Evitol market is booming. Experts say it will grow to $34.9 billion by 2030. The Chinese government is back in the industry, planning to open 1,000 low-altitude roads and create a full-fledged green aviation industry by 2035. Ihan's journey isn't without challenges. First, batteries. The EH216S flies for about 50 minutes and 35 kilometers, far less than Joby's S4 with its 240 km range. Lithium batteries lag behind jet fuel in energy density, and solid-state batteries won't hit mass production until 2030. Second, airspace management. Low-altitude flights are capped at 300 meters, requiring complex coordination with military and civilian zones. Ihan has launched a control center in Guangzhou, but scaling up is a challenge. Third, infrastructure. The world needs 4,000 vertiports by 2030, requiring $10 billion in investments, and progress is lagging. Meanwhile, competitors aren't standing still. Joby Aviation has FAA certification and partnerships with Uber and Toyota but the aircraft are pricier. China's Xpen Aero HT builds small flying cars but lacks certifications. Ihan's edge lies in certifications, autonomous tech and its ecosystem, but competition is heating up. What's next for Ihan? They plan to strengthen alliances with automakers and battery manufacturers to cut costs and expand their market. Their goal, as Hu Huazhi says, is to make flying commonplace. Popularizing flight is a marathon that requires patience and determination. But risks remain. Unclear regulations, new technologies like hydrogen-powered crafts and the need to make steady money. In 2024, Ihan was still unprofitable overall, and they need to prove they can turn technological leadership into sustainable profits. However, Ihan isn't just following trends, it's shaping the future. They've already proven that unmanned evitals are real, 
and now their challenge is to make flying accessible to everyone. So, are you ready to hop on an air taxi? Let me know in the comments below, give a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel to catch more. Thanks again and see you next time!